Okay, so I wanted to do another favorites video. Um, you know that I really, I really do not do too much favorites video because, um, hello. Well, I, I kind of change a little bit, you know. I, I never, I like to get around. But hey, um, hello, that Oh, by the way, um, if you're trying to ask what lipstick I'm wearing in this video, it is called Brick by NYX Cosmetique. Okay, so we're just going to get started. Um, kind of just wrapping things up here. All right, I'm not going to go in any particular order. Um, okay, fine. I'll go in a particular order. Where's that mascara? Oh, I'm panicking. Okay, so I'm just going to be starting out with the cosmetic things because um, I just wanted to get out of there. Oh, by the way, um, I have this... I drew them all, yes, indeed. <laughs> I drew them all right here. Mm, it's my little way of trying to hide an oncoming pimple. The first thing that I want to talk about is this MAC Studio Moisture Tint SPF 15. <sighs> it's like my holy grail lately. Um, I love it. I, I suggest, you know what? Okay, I know a lot of products for MAC break out people, but it doesn't break me out. So, hello. It, I, I love MAC. It's good to my skin and it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything for me. I'm not in the bandwagon where people... I'm not in the acne bandwagon. I like it because it evens out your skin tone. And especially now that it's really hot. I try to stay away from too much foundations. And um, I try to just keep it with, you know, the moisture tints. And... Did that just sound weird? The moisture tint? Did I say it with an N? <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, it really does even out, I'm showing it to you like you can see it, um, it really does even out your skin tone and it hydrates it at the same time and also, it's got SPF. Remember when I used to use my YSL mascara? Wow, <laughs> that is getting a little bit too expensive for me now. You know, it's just ridiculous. And plus, I can find a billion more mascaras that will do the same thing. So, I got this mascara. I love the brush of it. The brush is just so finicky. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should probably do a review on this. Yes! I will. Okay, fine. I will. I suggest everyone to try this. It's the Voluminous Million Lashes. What brother do you? Uh, do they expect me to read this? Mm -hmm. I think it's by L'Oreal. I think so. Is this by L'Oreal? Tell me, please. Um, I try to bronze my face with this MAC. Oh wow! MAC has all the credit today. It's this really, really beautiful bronze color. I wish you could see that. I have it on my cheeks right now and it's just amazing. I do it with an angled brush. So, that's that. So my last product that I've been liking so far is my NYX Book Palette. Um, it's about eyebrows. It's not about eyebrows. It's an eyebrow stencil kit. And we all know what... We do not want to establish again what I look like without any eyebrows on. Okay? Um, yes, I've been making them a little bit darker. Um, so, you know, it's just my preference. Try to use these stencil things, but, um, hello? Like, why would eyebrows be this long? This was extend from here to here. I got this from Victoria's Secret, and it's Sexy Little Things. No, uh, tease. I had the Sexy Little Things, the other one, um... But you know, that kind of just smells like, hello, kick me. But this one just kind of smells like a hot UPS man. Oh, I don't like to get the full-on bottle ones from Victoria's Secret because it takes me forever to finish them. So I like these little sample ones. They're only $10, but it smells so good. So check it out. It's this Noir Tea. So if you want a little smell of me. Feminine wipes. Yes, feminine wipes. It has been my favorite. Oh, you, you have no idea how refreshed you can feel down there. There's nothing wrong with smelling good down there. Um, but it just makes you feel so refreshed. Kind of like you just got out of the shower and you just scrubbed yourself with the loofah. And no, don't, you should never scrub yourself down there with the loofah. Okay. This is the 3D Advanced White. It's what I use. <laughs> okay. This is what I use to uh, maintain the whiteness of my teeth. I love it. Love. I went to Forever 21 um, the other day and I saw these nail polishes. Oh my god. I have it on, I have this blue one on my nails right now and I love this color. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Um, this one is called Batayokol. Blue. <laughs> That's it? Blue? These are so cheap. They're only $2.80 and these are my two favorite colors that I have ever gotten for Ever 21. You know, whoo, sometimes you get nail polishes that like are so cheap that you can just peel it off or it like it goes on all matte and dry and it just like it peels itself off or you have to put on 
a bunch of layers until it really shows, but surprisingly enough, this is of quality. And I love this one. This one is called Peach. NL35 Peach. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to mood you. <laughs> but my nail polish fell on the floor. I just recently got them, and that's the reason why they're my favorite as of current. Oh, and this is the color I have on my toes, too. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, okay, why am I doing acrobats for you? So last but not least is one of my favorite books that I suggest everybody should go out and get because it's like the most inspirational book that has changed my life. The Daily Book of Positive Quotations. This book is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This book has changed my life. Every day, I pull one by, I used to put this by my toilet just so when, you know, when people are taking a crap over there, they can think of positive things instead of, you know, when I want to release the stress or sometimes when I need to take myself away from my world or from everything that I'm doing and I just need to fully compose myself in my own state. Well, <laughs> that was the perfect description. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, sometimes when I'm just feeling a little low, or sometimes when I feel sad, bothered, bewildered, or mad, or angry, whatever, um, I like to read something that will lift up my spirit. I got this book from Target. It's called The Daily Book of Positive Quotations by Linda Picone. So there's a quote by Buddha, or shall I say, Buddha. <laughs> yes, that's how you say, okay? I have an Indian friend, so don't even try to argue with me. Okay, so this one is called Loving Yourself. You, yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. In the words of Buddha. Okay, so that wraps up everything in this video. Thank you guys for watching so much. I will talk to you later.